I have an adult job now. I know it's an adult job because the uh, HR person sat me down to explain that I had the option of having a 401k, which it turns out they don't just give you $401,000 for agreeing to be employed. That's what I... As I explained further what it was, my next reaction was, <laughs> how long do you think I'm going to live? That's preposterous. Uh, and then they explained the entirety. I was like, oh, a 401k is, is asking you what percentage of each paycheck do you want to bet that your dreams are never going to come true? What percent? You, hey, Brock, do you want to bet 5% that the band's not getting back together? That world tour may never happen. How did you feel about betting 10% of each paycheck that at some point in the next 20 years you're going to need rehab? I don't know what. It could be for video games on up. I, it could be just about anything. Brock, I, yeah, you haven't left the country at 27. How would you feel about betting 15% of your paycheck you're not going to marry a princess? There's not going to be a princess that comes along and... What, what would you say you are on a scale? An eight, a five, it doesn't matter. It's not a princess number. There's not going to be a princess. Maybe you should... <laughs> How would you be, feel about betting 50% that the sales of your autobiography will be about as good as the sales of this comedy special? Yeah, right there. <laughs> Take you up on that. Oh, you can't be sadder for me than I'm sad for me. <laughs> Uh, so I work with dentists now a lot, uh, and we're not allowed to talk about how they have such a high suicide rate, but a lot of my emails don't get returned sometimes. <laughs> and it's never a good sign when you call the follow-up and their whole music is just a Cure album. <laughs> they are my people. Um, <laughs> but at, at one of the dental trade shows, everyone was real excited because this year's new product was a Justin Bieber toothbrush. And the Justin Bieber toothbrush, when a kid puts it in mouth, it plays two minutes of a Justin Bieber song to teach them that they can, you know, brush for two minutes twice a day. And everyone, their minds were blown. Like, how did they get the Justin Bieber license for the thing? I was like, it's a device that Pavlovianly trains an entire generation when you hear his song to put him in your mouth. It's an investment in his future. <laughs> if, you want, if you want to make a Brock Wilbur toothbrush, just start doing it. Put a Justin Bieber song in it, please. It'll make it... <laughs> <laughs> Hor horrible. <laughs> so I look like Ted Bundy. I don't know, we'll just go off of that. I got, uh, I got cast in a movie, yay, uh, that I didn't audition for, question mark, and it turned out it was for the role of Ted Bundy. Uh, which by not submitting, that means that what happened was the producers went on some sort of website, there were a bunch of faces of people, and they were like, who here looks like the most successful serial killer in American history? Get me Brock Wilbur. Oh, that's perfect. He looks capable of raping, murdering, and then re-raping dozens of co-eds over a two-decade time period. Won't his mother be proud? 